all we're doing is making the dry mix. And I will have the directions in description below. And the original idea for the dry mix, I know I made this something like this about 20, 30 years ago. But I got this recipe from Mary's Nest. And she is amazing. Mountain Grandma is hosting a collaboration and it's Christmas gifting. And I had thought about, oh, I know how to make the Russian tea one, but um, that one is already being posted and the hot cocoa mix is being posted. So I had to rack my brains, figure out an easy gift to give away at Christmas time. And I came up with brownies. Tell Mountain Grandma that Blissful Acres sent you. I really like her videos and they're they're really neat people and they live in Arizona. Just check them out. You'll be happy you did. For my bulk brownie recipe mix which is, like I said, is delicious. I just make it in this gallon jar. So, and this is what I poured out, uh, what I had left over in the jar, and it's not quite enough. I need uh, two and a fourth cups to, of the brownie mix to make brownies. So, I didn't have quite enough there to make a full batch, so... I figured I needed to make it anyway. So, this is so much better than going to the store and buying a box of brownie mix. It's delicious. Um, you throw it together. Then later on, you can just pull out a pint of brownie mix. And you're good to go. You add all the wet ingredients. And you have brownies in no time. Super, super easy recipe. Okay, so first, I am going to do three cups of flour. And you can use two cups of wheat flour, any kind of grain flour for this. But right now, all I have is just the all-purpose flour. So I'm going to be doing three cups of flour. Okay? So I'll bring you right back as soon as I get that into my gallon jug. Next, we need one teaspoon of salt. Already got that measured. That goes in the jar. And I'm going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. Doing it one-handed, and I can tell I got a little bit more than what I need. Nothing to... Yeah. Yeah, that's one. And what I'm finding is nothing has to be really, really exact. Even when it comes to mixing. Okay, got all that in there. Now we need to mix it up. Need to mix it up well. What I'm going to do... Is now remember that's you need two cups of your whole grain if you're gonna flour or any other grain flour that you want to put in here, and one cup of regular all purpose flour. I don't have any other flour, so I'm just doing three cups of all purpose, and it's a great that way too, so that's not a big deal, honest. Now I'm going to put the lid on, and we're going to shake this baby up, get it all mixed up. So now I'm just going to mix it up thoroughly. So you can even see where I wrote brownie <laughs> mix on here, but it kind of came off the jar. I'm going to actually do a label with directions on how to mix it on on this later but I always know I can go find the recipe but it's easier if it's right on the jar
Next, we're going to add in our Hershey's cocoa powder, and it'll be about, they say eight ounces, but it that works out to about two cups. You can add a little more, a little less. It doesn't really matter in this recipe, but I'm going to do two cups. I can get a little more in that. I'm not cutting it down. I'm just wanting to get two cups in here of the cocoa powder. Here you go. Two cups. This is one. Get it all that good chocolate down in there. I'm going to do another one. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this to show you guys. One of these days, I'll actually get a tripod. Oh, no. I spilled. I did a Susan. And, of course, it looks like there's a little bit more. And that's okay. Pour that in, too. I like to put the lid back on and mix it up. Stick that in there. Lid on. And you know what? If you got a nice tight lid, you can do this. See? Or you can... And you can roll it around. But I don't want the lid to come off. So what I usually do is I will shake it. Okay, let me shake that up a bit more, and we'll be back with the sugar. The flour and the cocoa, with the salt and the baking powder, have been thoroughly mixed in the jar. Now, we're adding four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar. And if you want, you can stop in between and mix it. Or you can do what I did. Just pour it in. And one thing I do different than the recipe is when you go to mix everything up, you can add chocolate chips or your nuts to your brownies. But... <clears throat> Brownies aren't going to go bad, and chocolate chips will be just fine in there with the mix. So, what I'm going to do is, I haven't a clue how much that is, but it's going into the brownie mix. So, we've got, yeah, about that much will be okay. Don't want a whole lot of brownies, but, I mean, a whole lot of chocolate chips, but... If I find the other jar, I'll probably end up putting more in. I think I'm going to do that. I found the chocolate chips. And what we do here is we um, store our chocolate chips in the glass jars and seal it. This one, of course, is not because I've already added some um, plenty now to the mix, the dry bulk mix. And this is going to make many batches. We'll buy a large bag of chocolate chips and then we put them into the mason jars and then use the food saver to suck out the air and it seals the chocolate chips and keeps them fresh. We also do the same thing with our nuts. And I've already, this isn't sealed because I opened it and I put more chips in here. But, if you seal, see this one here is sealed, your nuts, they last longer. And uh, they don't go rancid as quickly. So, that's what we do. And same thing with pecans. Um, all of our nuts, we do that with. And I just wanted to mention, I am not putting nuts in here. Because if I do give this away as a gift... I, you know, I don't know for sure if somebody might be allergic to nuts or not. And if this it would be for long-term storage, 
what happens is the nuts will go rancid and we have and that really messes up the whole batch of anything you use in the nuts for all you can taste is um the rancidity of the nuts so i'm not putting the nuts into my bulk mix you can always have it and on the side or put it in when you're making your brownies and here you have it i'm gonna mix it all up together because we've got sugar we've got the flour chocolate we've got the chocolate chips at the top so now we'll mix it up and then we can roll it up see doesn't that look cool so now we can just mix it all real good and make sure everything's mixed very well and what's neat is you can see the glass on the side that looks like it's pretty well mixed this is obviously from on from here because that wipes off right there but i see areas where there's still sugar see so you just keep mixing it bring it down and makes it really good the brownie mix is finished see um it really doesn't take long to make it and i want to see how many i have here but um i know that with the brownie mix it's a whole lot more tasty than buying from the store in a box and i know what's went into it and i can make it healthy using all kinds of different sugars for this mix you're not stuck with just white sugar um, i like pure cane sugar and i haven't done a lot of experimenting with other sugars but use your favorite sugar to make your brownies so anyway everybody Let's make a pan of brownies.